Training camp is fun, and it is. you know the biggest day of all of training camp is the red and white practice, and that happens this weekend. Liz is live with more on what fans need to know if you want to head out. Hi, Liz. Hi, good morning everyone. Practices have been open to the public here at University of Phoenix Stadium since last week. Another will be held today starting at 2, but Saturday it's going to be a lot of fun. It's the red and white practice where you can come here and watch Cardinals players scrimmage against each other. The game itself starts at 2 and goes until 4.30, but if you want to get here early, you can, and you probably should, seeing as there were almost 24,000 fans, 24,000 in the stands for the red and white practice last year. Fans can park on the east and west side of the stadium beginning at 12 30 p.m. You'll be able to go inside the stadium at gate one, which is the west side, and also through gate three on the east side at 1 30 p.m. All of those details, if you miss them, are on the Cardinals website. Following the red and white practice, the entire team will sign autographs along the lower field wall on both sidelines prior to leaving the field. So you get to watch your favorite players, then you get to meet them in an air conditioned stadium, and the best part is it's free. Definitely not a bad way to spend your Saturday, right? And back out here live, also want to remind you, we're one week, almost one week away from the first preseason Cardinals game here at University of Phoenix Stadium. It's going to be next Friday. Very exciting. Back yeah. to you guys. And I think that's so cool that all the, the players sign autographs yeah. and the kids bring stuff. And I remember, I remember when Lexi was little, she's been going to games with me. She was like three years old. Mm -hmm. And she would go up there and get little things signed. And it's, it's a big deal. Uh, oh, I know. And my little guy, who's six now, is like a huge sports fan, loves Cardinals. But I remember he was six weeks old and I took him up to Flagstaff for the first uh, great. camp ever. Yeah, that's one of our first. Now that's memories. a good story. I've been yeah. watching the Cardinals since I was six weeks he old. He was. Uh, he's one of the highest profile sports figures in our state, speaking of Cardinals, but how well do you really know Cardinals owner Michael Bidwell? We have a little bit of a contest for you here. Let's bring Celeste in Kay. for us, because this is kind of one of those hey, games good morning, where, you two. not to pit the two of you against each other, <laughs> Never. but we might have a winner and a loser, all right, after this whole thing. So here's okay. how it works. I give Michael choices of a couple of different things, pop culture, food, things like that, and I ask him which he prefers. So <laughs> like this, let's run the first thing. I asked him, Michael, Italian or Chinese? Okay, mm. so I asked him, does he prefer Chinese food or Italian food? All right, no, no, don't answer yet. I'm gonna go. Don't answer. Don't answer? I okay. think I'm gonna go with Italian. Okay. So I'm gonna go with go Italian. Ahead. She's going with it. What do you I, got? I was gonna say Italian too, but you can. Can I? Okay, Italian. Roll it. Italian. Italian. Yeah, All right, we, so we got be it, one Celeste. Each. Okay. Okay, so now yeah. we're in it for the did, money. Did you? Now, okay, now we're in it for the oh. money, okay? So it's zero, zero. Okay. And if you're playing along at home, please don't bet any more than you can lose. All right, with somebody at home. All right, okay. here we go. Next question for we're Michael Bidwell. We're playing with fake money here. Guns and Roses <laughs> or Aerosmith? All right. Oh. Guns and Roses. Gun I'm going Aerosmith. Guns and Roses. <laughs> yeah, now listen, definitely he's, a GNR he's guy. 50, I can he's a little see older him. than me. I can see him with the hanky. Right? <laughs> you're going Guns. All right, roll it. Mm -hmm. Guns and Roses. Guns. Guns and Roses. We're yeah. good. Man, all right. Okay. One, one. Next question. Roll it. Red Vines or M&M's? Ooh. Oh, they're both so delicious. M&M's. Mm. Yeah. M&M's. I'm going to go with Red Vines. He seems like a kind of a classic guy. Could, I could see him sitting up in the suite, you know, chewing on the Red Vines. <laughs> Michael that Bidwell. Vision. Do you like Red Vines or do you like M&M's? Red Vines. Oh, Celeste, nice Celeste work, sister. Celeste takes the lead. Okay, Look last at that. question. Celeste is up, 1-0. <laughs> last question here, roll it. Julia Roberts or Demi Moore? Julia Roberts or Demi oh, Moore? Oh, that's really hard. Oh, Demi Moore. Oh, you're going Demi? You know, I, I'm, a I'm a pretty woman fan, but I'm going to go with Demi as well. I think so, too, right, Demi. Demi Moore. Michael. Demi Moore. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. Wow, there you aced it, Celeste. You got them all. Very good. Well, I mean, I had a 50-50 chance, so <laughs> fortunately I got them right. <laughs> but we all know Michael a little bit better. So, again, the big uh, red and white practice this weekend. So that'll be fun. Okay. Thanks, Celeste. See you in a good bit. Good sport.